Plus, attacked in the saddle. Two women and their horses forced to fight off a dog's attack. The dog was actually grabbing onto her foot and it was pulling her out of the saddle. New tonight, only on Cairo 7, they describe the struggle to escape. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lindsay Sheldon. The attack by a pit bull in Pierce County sent a teen to the ER and a horse to the vet. Cowers Up's DD son shows us their injuries. And tonight, those victims are looking for the owner of that dog. Two horses and their riders attacked on this popular equestrian trail. Both of these horses you see here were bitten multiple times. Nova was hurt more seriously, and you can see one of the wounds right here on her belly. That pit bull also attacked one of the riders, causing injuries serious enough to send her to the hospital. A regular morning spent riding Friday when suddenly... All of a sudden I see something black as a shadow jumping at me. This aunt and her niece say a pit bull started biting at their horse Ruby. And that's uh, when I heard Vanessa, like she screamed. She says she saw her niece falling off. The dog was actually grabbing onto her foot and it was pulling her out of the saddle and um, towards the ground. That's when uh, she hit the tree. They say the dog then turned its attention to this horse, Nova, and her owner. It relentlessly continued to attack us. This wasn't a quick attack. It, it lasted over several minutes. And um, the dog got more and more aggressive. You can see stitches and swelling. That is where the dog uh, latched onto her chest. Uh, you can see the puncture wounds. This photo of Nova at the vet shows her still bleeding. The dog was jumping up and attacking her, her belly. She's got several um, stitches and staples trying to hold it together. Vanessa has a concussion. I was lucky enough that I was wearing a helmet too. A bitten hand and bruises all over her body. I was terrified. I've never been attacked by a dog. They're still looking for the owner of the pit bull. They say they have nothing against the breed. In fact, Vanessa owns a pit bull herself. It's not the dog. It's the ones who own them. But want to share this warning. So my concern was all these riders, if this dog comes here regularly, somebody else could get into the same situation that we were in. And I would hate for someone to experience it. It's, it is a horrific experience to go through. The family tells me they are working with Pierce County Animal Services and Animal Control to work on this case, but they say Animal Control can't do a whole lot when it comes down, when it comes to tracking down animals, and that's why they want to put this warning out to you tonight. Live in Tacoma, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News. 